Hey guys, this is the Hatchet Fish here, and uh, today is the release day of the Uncharted 3 multiplayer beta. And I just got home, and uh, I've been playing it for about an hour, hour and a half now. Um, and uh, I got this gameplay, it's the first full game I played. Uh, the first one, first two I was in actually lagged out. So, well it's a beta, I mean what can you expect? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so this is the first game, and, uh, I joined right at the beginning on this one, so, it's, uh, I'm just gonna give you my general impressions on the beta so far, and, uh, what I think. Um, alright, so the first thing that you probably noticed was the giant airplane swooping in, and that epic fail I just had. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so in this, it's a lot like uh, if you remember in Uncharted 2 when you're uh, riding the trucks up to the monastery, uh, you have to jump from truck to truck in case they explode or, you know, there's another guy shooting at you. Uh, it's kind of what this reminds me of this beginning part. And this plane is kind of like the safe spot. Um, it's not going anywhere. And if you hold this down, uh, you're going to get a good score because the other team has to battle their way in through all the doors. Um, so far, uh, graphically, the Uncharted 3 beta is pretty good. Uh, it's not a huge overhaul from the second, in my opinion, but the graphics are better, and uh, the colors are good as well. Like One thing you'll notice is the colors are nice and bright and realistic. If Well, pretty realistic. And this is what they were talking about the whole time that they were talking about the multiplayer in all the interviews. The ci uh, they brought the cinematic uh, feel to it. And uh, I feel like they actually really did that quite well. Um, like you saw at the beginning, the plane swooping in and everyone was on the truck. Uh, the plane taking off and all the trucks chasing them and then you arrive. And uh, there's a ending cinematic too. Um, they're not the first ones to do this. Um, Guerrilla Games did it first with uh, Kills on 3. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't actually know when the first one was. And I hate that gun with the venge vengeance. I think they should make that a medal kickback for like 20 medals instead. Which reminds me. Uh, let me go over everything that's new in this compared to Uncharted 2. Mind you, I really only played Uncharted 2 for about three hours overall and that was just yesterday <laughs> uh, borrowed it from the archer fish um, alright so the boosters are back uh, but they're a lot better this time uh, you unlock the ability to purchase them as you level up and um, I I only have one booster in this game because you start off with 10 grand which is how much the booster costs uh, the first one I'm using is come here which is it shows you the person that killed you last if they're within a certain range of you so you can go for that retaliation medal um, later on the first second booster you can get is power hunter sorry I don't have a list in front of me or anything but um it shows you the ten I mean um, any power weapons such as that freaking grenade launcher uh, that are within 10 meters of you. So I didn't go for that one. I didn't find it useful. Well, didn't assume it would be useful. Um, sometimes. Oh, it was my emblem on the wall. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah. So sometimes um, it has cinematic parts where that can kill you. For example, that airplane swooping around once or twice a game on this map. Uh, it'll swoop in and shoot at the ground, and I've been killed by it in that one game I played before. One half game I played before. So. Uh, I tried to hide from there, but I didn't shoot. And I run away a lot because uh, my aim in this is not so well. And I'll throw grenades backwards just for shits and giggles. <laughs> um, right. So then there are the metal kickbacks. And if you look up in the top left under the gun, uh, you'll see that I have, I think it says 8 out of 14 right now. Sorry, I'm viewing this in Sony Vegas, so I can't see best but um 
I'll explain what exposed is in a second as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so the metal kickbacks are when you get a medal for doing certain things such as killing the person that killed you last, uh, double kill, triple kill, streaks, um, and there's a bunch of them. You can get a medal for dying five times in a row, which I unfortunately got once. <laughs> um, yeah, so the first metal kickback you can use is RPG, which I find very useful. Um, I've got another gameplay that I might commentate later in the week unless I get a better one, where I use it to save my life. It's a lot of fun to just whip out an RPG from nowhere on some fool that's chasing you and kill him with a giant fiery explosion. Um, right, what else is there to do? Right, that music changed, and uh, if you look up by the score, you see the ti time counting down. Uh, that's a power play, and basically what it does is a team that's losing gets a certain advantage over the winning team for a set amount of time, such as that one was exposed, which uh, shoot, which shows them exactly where you are. Like your name will show up above your head, and they'll be able to see you where you're moving really pisses me off uh, but you know it is uh, balancing it's not game breaking as much as you would think it is it's actually really fun to be on the winning team because sometimes the teams are just terrible so see and there they got another power play sometimes they happen really quickly together which I think they need to change they need to spread it out more because uh, they just got exposed and then they got double damage really soon after but um no, it's alright. Uh, I've benefited from double damage once the uh, game after this. Got a nice feed. But, uh. Um, there's another really messed up power play, which I hate. It's called Cursed. And what it is, is if y you're on the team against the power play, uh, your screen gets covered in like a green overlay, if you will. And then uh, everybody uh, looks like a skeleton. Uh, if you remember the multiplayer skins from um, Uncharted 2, the skeletons like that, except they're like weird colors, and uh, you can't tell if it's a friend or an enemy, and if you shoot them at all, if it's a friend, they die. So it's really kind of a piss off. And what you see there is one of the beta's mini glitches. Uh, people that have left the game, it doesn't look like they've left it, and they're just chilling there, and you pump your whole clip into them, and they're not actually there. And someone just comes around and punches you in the face. So there's one thing they need to fix. And another thing they need to fix is I found that there's no host migration. Um, I don't know what Sunday Stroll is. <laughs> um, the no host migration is really kind of annoying. And this is also as well. I want to pick up that treasure because there's good stuff in there. There's Sometimes there's the red treasure, rare treasures you can pick up. Or you can pick up like three medals. So you get that added to your medal total for your kickback. Um, I have another gameplay with the medals, I mean treasures, no, medals. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it's really late and I had a rugby practice today. Um, okay, so, talked about the boosters, talked about the metal kickbacks, and I talked about the power plays, treasures. Um, in the game, sometimes when you kill an enemy, they'll drop a treasure, and what that is, is if you pick it up, uh, it's part of a set, and if you complete the set, you get um, a new customized, customizable item for your character. Like, um, Sully's got a fedora, and uh, you need to collect all three parts of the knowledgeable man, knowledgeable gentleman set. I don't, I don't have any of those yet, but I want it. <laughs> Um, and there are three categories, and the uh, the rarer ones will get you the cooler stuff. Um, and this is the end of the game, actually. That went really quick. I got a nice double feed with the overpowered hammer, and uh, I kick Drake in the face, and then there's two more Drakes chilling outside. <laughs> so um, this game's it's an average game. It's not a beastly game, but uh, I didn't want to throw in the game that didn't ha I had a better game but it didn't have the cinematic parts into it so I didn't want to post that up because uh, the cinematic parts are really cool uh, I finished that game 12 kills 5 deaths and 3 assists and uh, this is the screen you get after the game uh, it shows you your cash earned and if you scroll down this 
statistics with your accuracy and all your kills and that's your progression to the next uh, level of that booster so um, I'm the Hatchfist once again and uh, if you like this video or want to see more Uncharted 3 I'll be doing a lot of that soon please comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you next